the video earlier because I wanted you to appreciate the outside of the home. Now, I haven't gotten to the front. This is the side. There is the side door. Love that big window. Let's go see what the rest of the house looks like. This is called the Anderson. Beautiful, beautiful home. Absolutely love it. This, you guys, is the Anderson. Beautiful. Already I can tell you that I love this porch. Look at the detail. Look at the wood around the front. Now what I'm standing on is here. It's not a part of the house. But this, look at the two-tone. You got gray, white in the middle, and then you got the wood right there. And then this built-in porch. Oh, I love this. The wood color is beautiful. Don't know what kind of wood it is. Looks kind of like cedar, but it's beautiful. Gotcha. Yeah, this porch is absolutely beautiful. Look at that, got the built-in light. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's go see what the rest of the house looks like. All right, beautiful. Okay, so let's, let's really, oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, this is your entryway. This is where I came in, okay? So you got this beautiful entryway, got a light there, so you can turn the light on and go see who's at the door. Now, I'm gonna shut the door because I see the lights are on in this house. So beautiful, 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 beautiful. You got all this entryway right here, gorgeous. You got a coat closet right here at the door. Sorry, it's hard to see you guys. Just a single rod up at the top. They got the shelving. You could put a, you could totally put a bench there, or you could have an entry table, or you can have some, uh, just whatever you like. You could have a smaller table and a bench right there as well. But I absolutely love, love, love this entryway. You got smart thermostat there on the wall as you come into the house this is what you see this is the living room area so you got a fireplace really nice three huge windows you got a ceiling fan right there really lovely so this is your living room You've got a desk over there. You can have a computer. You can pay your bills there. Just whatever you need it for. You can have crafts there. I'm always mindful to think about what everybody would think. Everybody wouldn't have a desk there. Maybe you have craft area. Maybe you would, the kids would do their homework. Just whatever you would like. But you have upper cabinets and lower drawers in this area which is nice, okay, super, super nice. Look at the detail, the brick. You got the gray shiplap on the walls. That's a gas fireplace, really nice. And again, all of this lighting from these huge windows is beautiful. Really nice. Really nice. Now, next to the, your living room, you have a door that leads to the outside, and then you have this big, beautiful kitchen. Look at the counter. The counter space goes on for days. You've got storage on either side. Let's first appreciate this counter. This island, you guys. Look at the storage space in this island. 
okay? Like this isn't even for seating. This is for storage. You can put two bar stools over there if you like. You got plenty of space for storage. This island is huge. This island is huge. You got a built-in microwave down here on this end and space for storage. And then you've got your sink over here and dishwasher, but you have additional place, uh, space for storage, drawers and cabinets. Beautiful. Look at this island. And then you can also put seating on this side. So you can put two bar stools here, two bar stools there for seating. And then all of that space over there. That island is huge. I personally love the pendant lighting. It is absolutely amazing. This home is beautiful. Two big, two big windows on either side of the stove. All of that cabinet space. You have all of those outlets for appliances. Look at the area you have over here for storage. Like, look at all the cabinets and drawers. You've got pot drawers. Look at there. These drawers are for your pots, ladies. You've got pot drawers. You've got places for casserole dishes. These deep drawers, like, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All of these drawers. I wouldn't know where anything was. I'd have too much space to put it. You got all of these outlets. This is a pretty tile. That's a glass tile. Beautiful. This is the Anderson. This is the Anderson, you guys. Look at that hood. And then you've got storage over your refrigerator. Stainless steel appliances in here. This home is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Next to this beautiful kitchen, you have your dining room. Love this glass wall. It gives it a little separation, but yet you can see into the dining room when you're entertaining. That's the big window that we looked at when I was walking up to it. But you also have two windows over there. Look at the beautiful um, chandelier that's in here. Really nice. And I love this table. Oh, I love this table. You've got kind of like the pew bench on this side. Then you got two chairs over there and the, these high back chairs. I love this table. Don't make me go table shopping, y'all. Cause my table's so plain. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Look at there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Now off the dining room, this is a house that keeps on giving. Look at this utility room, got built in pantry space. Not the typical wire shelving, you guys. You got this nice wood shelving you can use for storage, you can use for, you can stack up tide and toilet paper to the cows come home or you can put food stuff, or you can put appliances, or you can put shoes, just whatever you want to put in this space. And then over here at the back door, you also have the ability to hang your stuff up. So you got like an open area for storage slash coats, raincoats, whatever, when you're coming in from the elements. 
And it's kind of a separate room. Let me step back. It's a separate room from the utility room. So the utility room is around here. You've got your back door there. Got outlets in here if you want a deep freezer. Your washer and dryer will go over there. And of course, that's the AC unit in there. But you also have space to rods up there to hang clothes when you're doing the laundry and then you can hang stuff here and not necessarily like a coat closet you got one in the front but this is at the back door you can use it for that or you can use it for stuff that has to be hung up you can put your uh ironing board right there and then have stuff that your iron hung up there so beautiful Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is the house that keeps on giving. Beautiful laundry room, you guys. I love this house. This is the Anderson. Beautiful. Now over here, you got your bedrooms. You have guest bedroom number one right here. Love the wood trim in this house. You got a nice closet right there. Don't mind that wood. That's a beam that has to go up in the living room area. So that's guest bedroom number one. You got guest bathroom right here. Right, so that's your guest bedroom. I don't know what that line is. And then this is guest bedroom number two. Right here. Hello. Hello. This house is beautiful. So this is guest bedroom number two. I'll show you the closet. Got your closet right there. All right, so you got three bedrooms and two bathrooms in this house. I'll spin around again and let you see the kitchen right there. And we'll go and check out the master bedroom, okay? So here we have the master bedroom on this side. Now again, we came in from the uh, front door there and to the left is the master bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. Beautiful master bedroom. Let's step into the closet so you can see. So that's the master bedroom. You got your master closet beautiful master closet now my husband and i could share this one with all of this space this is beautiful 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 look at this beautiful galvanized mirror that's in here really nice all right so we're gonna spin around here absolutely beautiful look at there now if you're not a fan of these doors i know everybody isn't the barn doors, then you don't have to have it. You can absolutely have no door or you can put whatever kind of door you like there. Um, look at this master bath, beautiful. Again, this is the Anderson. Look at that tub you got. Now, if that tub ain't sexy, okay. Love the feature wall to the left Walking into the bathroom, you got floor to ceiling windows. Beautiful. To the right, you've got this huge sink, double sinks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All the cabinets, counter space, drawers that you have in here, huge sink. 
This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this here. So beautiful. Now around this corner, behind the um, tub, this is the shower. So this is the shower, you guys. You got the rain shower, shower head. Nice marble in there. You've got your toilet closet in there. Is the light on? No, no light in there. But you got your toilet closet in there. You have additional storage over here. And you can walk through to the other side of the shower. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. It's like hidden, but it's not. Super beautiful. So that's the entrance into the shower. And it's behind this wall where this deep tub is. And then you've got a, a closet in here for your towels, your linen closet type stuff. Cosmetics, whatever you like. This bathroom is absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. I love this house, you guys. Like, it doesn't get any more prettier than this. This house is absolutely beautiful. So, if you like what you see and you're interested in the price of this home, make sure you contact the dealer um, for pricing. This home doesn't list pricing um, in the home, but you're welcome to contact the dealer. All of the information will be down in the description box below. Again, I'm the Mobile Home Diva. Thanks so much for watching this tour. You have a great day.